Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and today I am doing another video about company formation in Dubai and today I have another video of Lila International and I have their senior executive with me. Hi guys, this is Charu Vadva, the senior customer relationship manager of Lila International. So guys, before we dive into details, let's take a moment to understand why Dubai is the best place for the business ventures. Dubai boasts a strategic geographic location, world-class infrastructure, favorable tax regime, diverse and a cosmopolitan society. These factors make it a lucrative destination for entrepreneurs from around the globe. So Charu, can you please tell us what are the best zones in Dubai to opening a new business? Well, yes. The right step in company setup is to determine the most suitable business entity for your venture. Dubai offers several options including free zone companies, mainland companies and offshore companies. Each zone has its own benefits and requirements. It is important to consider your business activity, target market and long term goals before making a decision. So Charu, can you please tell us what is the benefit of having a company in free zone? Free zone companies are popular among foreign investors as they provide 100% ownership, tax exemptions and simplified incorporation procedures. There are numerous free zones in Dubai with strategic industries such as media, technology, finances and more. So Charu, that was good to know about free zone companies. Can you please tell us about mainland companies? Mainland company offers greater flexibility and ability to do business within the UAE and internationally. They require local Emirati sponsor or the partner. But this partnership can be structured in a way that protects your interest. Mainland companies have access to the entire UAE market and offer a wide range of business activity. Mainland companies have access to the entire UAE market and offer a wide range of business activity. Okay, Charu, so I got such information about uh, free zone and uh, mainland companies from you. So can you please tell viewers about the offshore as well? Offshore companies primarily used as international business operation, asset protection and tax planning. But they are not allowed to operate within the UAE, but they have advantage of tax exemption and 100% foreign ownership. Offshore companies commonly established in Jabal Ali Free Zone and Russell Khema Offshore Center. Charu, thank you very much for sharing such information about company formation in Dubai. And what are the government procedures and documentation required? Once you have chosen the appropriate business activity, it's time to navigate the government procedures. Dubai's government has simplified the company registration process, but it still requires adherence to specific legal and administrative requirements. You will need to prepare business plans, shareholder agreement, passport copies and more. Okay Charu, thank you very much for all this information. So finally tell us about what are the different types of license and permit required to do business in Dubai. Licenses and permits are essential to operate legally in Dubai. The type of license you require will depend on your business activity. Some common types of licenses include professional licenses, commercial licenses and industrial licenses. Certain sectors such as healthcare or food services may have specific licensing requirements. Setting up a company in Dubai can be a complex process, especially for newcomers. Seeking professional assistance from business consultant and legal advisor can save your time and effort and ensure compliance with legal regulations. If you are planning to set up your business in Dubai, our contact details are mentioned below. Stay tuned for more information related to company setup in Dubai from Leela International. Thank you.